I think any AFL player over the last 20 years has probably come into contact with, with Hereford Road Pier. The icy cold waters and the stingray. Every time you drive past, it gives you a bit of a shudder. Kerford Road, I, I, I avoided it at all costs. They caught a two metre <laughs> shark there once. Did you know that? <laughs> I didn't. Poor Colin Garland. So Cole Garland is a very quiet Tassie boy, you know, one of the mm -hmm. one of the great blokes at the footy club. But he's certainly no Ian Thorpe Croft. He's <laughs> he is an absolute brick when it comes to, to swimming and one one morning really stuck out. I actually think I remember it being the coldest day in Melbourne for six years. Perfect morning for a dip. It was freezing, pitch black, 5 a.m. I swear that's when the sharks start to hover. <laughs> We're walking down to the end of the pier. You're trying to stick together. You've got your towel over you. You're trying to stay warm, but at this day was just freezing. And I can remember Cole Garland sort of saying like, almost looking like he was panicking, you know, like, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to do this. You know, you sort of, it's 200 metres in, you'll be, you'll be able to get in there, like, you know, it's going to... Swim fast or warm up. That's right, it's going to hurt. It's never the case. Anyway, so we got to the end of the pier and, you know, your Nate Joneses and your gun swimmers, bang, in they go. They almost dive off and they're in, yeah. in the shore before yeah. we've even jumped in. So I was sort of towards the back. It was like me, Liam Jara, Ozzy Wanamiri, Cole Garland, a few of our pretty average swimmers towards the very end. We jump off and I start swimming in and you sort of say, like, when you first get in, your chest just, you can't even breathe. and and then your head's just, you've got a headache, and so then you start a little doggy paddle to begin, <laughs> just trying to warm the body up. And I just remember looking to my left, looking at my mate Cole Garland next to me. He already looked, looked like a corpse cross. He was bobbing up and down, but he was white as a ghost, hyperventilating, couldn't breathe. So we started screaming towards the guys at the front. Nate Jones came swimming back, because he was all, already almost on the shore. Comes back, a few of them start pulling Garlo up and they've ended up having to take him over to one of the sort of little balustrate pole things there that was holding the pier up just so he could hold on and get his breath back. So he thought he'd just hold on to the pole like a koala hugging a tree yeah, and he wasn't going to let go. <laughs> Waited with him for about 10 minutes and then obviously he sort of calmed down I think and, and maybe got his breath back and was able to move his arms and, and in he came but um, it's a bit of a harrowing experience that one. But did you learn to turn up on time and do the right thing from there? I don't think you have. <laughs> <laughs>